Yeah. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today is all about the NBA 2K20 wish list. This entire video will be about all the problems that 2K need to fix, as well as some additions that need to come to NBA 2K20. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If I speak too fast and you might have missed something, go ahead and check out the description for timestamps that'll help you along through this video. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. All right, guys, the first thing on my list is my career. Now, what I mean by my career is it's time to let go of the storyline, man. 2K has failed us every single year for the last two years when it comes to the NBA 2K story. As far as my career goes, I feel like it's time to take that out. What I do want them to do is make it an NBA experience. And what I mean by that is I don't mean make it a gear story where you can only play it one way and everybody has to have that same exact experience. I want people to have a choice on how they play inside of the prelude inside of when the actual game comes out why not give us high school back why not give us college games back why not give us the choice if you don't make it to the nba you go to the g league until it's time for you to be called up or you can go straight to the nba make it a real nba experience as well as give us the combine i know that a lot of superstars nowadays and when i mean superstars i mean guys coming out of college for one year don't go through the draft combine because they have all this social media presence if that's the case let us have that option let us either go through the draft combine or use social media yes our little phones on in my career to say you know what we're not going to do that so we can build up a little bit of hype around our player so that people can see what we're going to do when we first come out now as far as creation goes the archetype system is broken and the reason that i say it's broken is because certain builds are doing what they should not be doing out there on the court whether it's offline or online what i believe that 2k should do is they shouldn't just scrap the entire archetype system because i feel like they will just break the game even more i want them to add another archetype to the list of archetypes you can have and the reason for that is i believe that it will give you more balance now i'm not saying that a person should just pick defending 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 no not that i believe that a person if they're a shot creating post scorer for instance one of the cheesiest builds in the game if you're a shot creating post scorer but you want to be a little bit better at defending i believe you should have that choice but you should also make sure that you lose all of that shooting that some of these shot creating post scorers get because if you think about it in hindsight what tends to happen when a person puts defending in their build their attributes go down as far as offense goes so some of these builds that are overpowered but don't actually show us that they are overpowered is because of the simple fact that they don't have anything to take away from their attributes i believe with 2k's jump shots and animations that just run this game a lot of builds are better at the game than they're supposed to be even the gameplay you guys are watching right now i'm playing with a pure lockdown and you'll see some of the things that i do that i shouldn't be doing now let's talk about wingspan for a moment a lot of players out there especially dribblers are having trouble with wingspan because they have to shorten their wingspan in order to get all those crazy dribbles do all those amazing animations as well as speed boosting but on the flip side when it comes to defense some of these players are very lacking because they have short wingspan and wingspan helps you with defense obviously I want to know where can 2K meet in the middle to say, hey, we're going to let some of these guys speed boost because they should speed boost. They have playmaking in their build, whether they're a sharpshooting playmaker, whether they're a defending playmaker, whether they're a slashing playmaker, they should be able to speed boost even at the max height. I believe 2K18, they had a great way to show off tall player speed boosting but this year you got to make your player mad short you got to make a minimal wingspan and it sucks for a lot of players out there so i know for me as a person that likes to dribble a little bit i would love to speed boost without having to make a short player and not be able to play up against three centers all right let's dive into gameplay for a moment all the little exploits and glitches that happen with this game i believe that for every person that does a glitch or an exploit it should not be your fault you should not get penalized for doing that because it's in 2k's game i believe 2k should put out a statement saying to players if you do do this exploit we will take action they don't say anything start banning accounts and then all of a sudden the community starts to find out and say hey you know what we shouldn't have did that 
I want to know why is it that players that exploited the pushing didn't get banned, but people that exploited maybe a Gatorade glitch or something like that got exploited because it dealt with them spending their VC. Let's talk about that for a moment, man. The way I feel about gameplay and all the exploits that go on, I believe that if it's in the game, the community is supposed to take advantage of it until the developers take it out the game. That is solely on the developers. That's why they need better game testing. I've been saying this since NBA 2K12. They need better game testing so that players that are cheesy players that exploit these players can try everything under the sun to find out if this game is broken or not so that we can have a great experience now let's hop in a part for a moment we need to bring back affiliations i'm gonna leave it at that now as far as the neighborhood goes i love the neighborhood i love being able to go to the barbershop all that you know all that jazz is cool it's cute it's cosmetic why don't you guys give us a mall why don't you give us a place where we can go to do all our shopping, all our bidding, and we don't have to worry about that interfering with our park games. We don't have to worry about that interfering with, oh, I got to go hop on a treadmill real quick. I'll be right back. Just give us a mall or some, something like that where it's one place that we go for all our cool stuff, and then we come back and play games. Now, as far as matchmaking goes, I believe that the guy next is cool because YouTubers like myself, Twitch streamers, NBA 2K League players, celebrities, they all have fun having those big crowds around them. But I feel like some of the other players that may be either elite at the game or maybe new to the game, can't get games because some players are either scared or some players don't want to play with new players and chance in losing so i believe that matchmaking should be at the park and that should be for the the few not the many just the few now let's talk about boost gatorade the whole shebang microtransactions and all that we need to take out Gatorade boost. We need to take out shooting, blocking, stealing, defending, passing. We need to take out every single boost in this game. And the reason for that is I believe that 2K is overshadowing what we really can do with our my players in this archetype system because they make us buy boosts. Every person in this game, unless you're maybe a 96 overall with unlimited boost, unlimited Gatorade, are not playing to their peak potential why are we not playing to our peak potential in this game now let's talk about vc the prices all that now if i just told you guys we should not be spending vc on gatorade on boost and everything like that why not make vc cheaper why not make it more affordable if this game was not geared to pay to win and it was all cosmetic the VC will be a lot cheaper. 2K knows that it's pay to win. So as long as it's going to be pay to win, the VC is going to be skyrocketed to the highest price possible. Please give us cheaper VC. Now, for spin the wheel, I love the fact that you guys put that in the game to give us something to come onto your game every day to make it look like users are online all the time. But why not only have us spin for rep and VC? I don't want to spin for a piece of Gatorade clothing, but I'm spinning. Um, I have an endorsement with Nike, and if I wear the Nike, I'm going to lose my endorsement with Jordan. I don't care about none of that. Please give us rep and VC on this spinning the wheel. Now, as far as clothing, sneakers, you know, tattoos, haircuts, all that stuff in the mall, why not allow us to only purchase it one time and use it for all of our my players? You guys make us sign up with emails. You make us verify these emails. Why not say when you load up the game, everything that you purchase, which is on that same account, should go for every single my player. If I purchase 50 L tattoos or M tattoos to make my hands all black, I should be able to make my hands all black on every single character. I should have the same red headband that I'm wearing right now, the same Miami jacket for every character without having to purchase it multiple times. You're making us spin VC, buy VC with little earnings to the VC. Oh, I, I literally heard someone got banned because they were earning way too much VC in stage because they were that good. 
it, it is beyond me how much VC can make a person look good or look bad. We have to lower the prices and we have to give people more VC when it's earned. Now, let's talk about the Jordan wreck real quick. I believe you should keep the name, but you should make it walk on like it was in 2K18. Not all the lag, not the kicking people out, but give us a crowd and a bench that reacts to what we got going on. Now let's move into my court. Fix the errors with all the my court. Loading into the my court sucks. It's terrible. You cannot load into anyone's my court. Now when you do load in, when you do fix it, make it 5v5. Give us our own 5v5 court, as well as letting 30 to 40 people load up in your my court so people can watch these YouTubers and Twitch and 2K League and celebrity games in the my court so we don't have to go to the park to try to get games and match up against each other. Now, custom clothes. Bring back the logo upload. I used to love watching people wearing Louis chains, all that, but you guys just have to come up with a better system to take out all the weirdos putting, uh, I'm sorry, dicks and guns and all of that inside the game. You guys have to, that's up to you guys to fix that. You have to fix the upload sequence. You have to fix your servers and how you guys scan for all that type of information. Also, give the crews more gear to choose from when creating a crew. Now, I noticed that we have the cell squad, and I believe we're like an amateur two and amateur three. As we go along, you guys should tell us what we unlock along the way, whether it's short shorts, goggles, all of that type of stuff for our players, for our crews. It's one thing that I have been wanting from 2K for a long time and this is where we get into a little bit of the rant take out the bump still i am getting sick and tired of me losing the ball because i'm bumping into random players on the court i will i'm cool with people swiping at me and taking the ball it happens i have terrible ball control but please take out the bump still now i know i really haven't went around my career like that because my career is becoming obsolete nobody wants to play my career anymore to grind their badges they don't want to play my career because nobody wants to play bots and nobody wants to level up to 99 playing bots only if you guys want us to have the road to 99 you need to give us more rep in other modes there is no reason that players should only play my career to get to 99 and then come to the park and get trashed by elite park players because they don't know how to play online. You are forcing players to only play offline in order to make it to a goal that it is unattainable without playing online. You can't play online and get to 99 before a player can play my career and get to 99. It doesn't make any sense. A player shouldn't have to play 9,000 part games just to get to like 96 overall and a person in my career can only be in like three to four seasons. That doesn't make any sense. Also, I need 2K to start adhering to creators. Everyone that plays 2K nowadays is a creator. It doesn't matter if you're big, it doesn't matter if you're small, it doesn't matter if you're just starting out, it doesn't matter if you've been creating content for years. We need some type of real, some real maker type stuff. Everyone remembers when Shady0018 used to make videos with real maker and stuff like that. In this game right here, it's 18 to 16. I should be able to see a reel of this game so I can get different angles, get different screenshots, get different angles of scores and defense so that I can make better content for the game. I know that editors out there can make a lot of dope effects and stuff like that, but why not use those effects and different angles of the game so that we can see how to match up, how, how the highlight happened and all of that. This is a game of angles, right? So why aren't we playing with better angles? Listen, man, I don't want to rant too much longer. If you guys have anything that I missed that I didn't mention, please leave it inside the comments section. And also, I will be making a video out of the comments below for another community type of wish list. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys drop a like and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.